Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Corner and my channel for crafting, collecting and Harry Potter and today's video is a totally random video. Um, so this is a Build-A-Bear haul, so it's a magical Build-A-Bear haul. Um, so I had resisted but I gave up resisting. So um, Build-A-Bear released a few months ago now actually I think, they released a Harry Potter um, base bear um, and since then they've released a few more bits to go with it so initially they released a hogwarts bear um, which you could then dress um, but the own with like house robes and stuff like that um, but the only way that you could order the bear was you had to order the bear with the robes and you couldn't order the robes separately or anything like that so basically they wanted you to buy the full bear um, they've now changed that so that you can just buy the robes on their own because obviously I think they've realised that they appreciate that people have already got a builder bear that they maybe want to dress in the robes and they don't necessarily want another bear. Um, so you can now buy it individually and then they've also added Quidditch outfits and things to that. So I had resisted and then I caved because a couple of weeks ago or a week ago I think they had um, sort of a Christmas, an early Christmas sale going on and all the other offers up until that point the Harry Potter bears had been exempt from that. They weren't included in the sales. So when I saw this sale come up, I kind of, again, I looked and I saw and I was like, oh, does it include Harry Potter? And it does, or should I, should I say, it? yeah, I'm confusing myself. It included Harry Potter. They weren't exempt from the offer. So you could get a discount. It wasn't a massive discount, but I thought, well, it's a discount. I can't complain. So I finally, um, ordered it so I ordered so what you could also do is when you selected everything and you put it in your basket you could order it dressed or undressed so you could either dress it yourself or they could dress it in your specified outfit um, that you wanted it dressed in so you get it ready made I have just literally before hitting record taken a sneak peek in the box and I selected dressed I don't think they got the memo because I currently have a naked teddy bear in there, as far as I'm aware. Um, so, <laughs> that's going to be a little bit of a customer service query. Um, but, it's fine. I can dress it myself. Um, so, if I first of all pull it out, it's also upside down. I think I've pulled it, I've opened the wrong end of the box. So, yeah, so this is definitely not dressed. This is definitely a naked little bear. Um, so... This is the normal bear, so it's a brown bear, it's curly, it's, I love it, it's really cute. Um, and on it, it's got on its feet, you've got Harry Potter and then the Hogwarts crest. They then followed this one up with, um, they released house specific bears. So it's basically, it's the same, but he's so soft. It's the same bear, sorry I'm just going to give him a little bit of squidge. <laughs> It's the same, it's the exact same bear. Uh, the only difference is this foot is different and it has your specific house crest on it. So I, although they'd released those when I ordered this, because I'm a Ravenclaw and it's always a raven on the crest rather than an eagle, I always just stick with the plain one. Also a little bit cheaper to go non-house specific. Um, so yeah, I preferred the fact that it had the Hogwarts crest on the bottom. So I stuck with just the plain bear. So, which I'm gonna sit him him her I'm gonna have a play with her later and fluff her up a bit so the first thing I got was the little Ravenclaw robes there so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna dress her as we go so yeah so you get what I mean so it's got the the normal like the Ravenclaw crest on it so it's got velcro on there um, and inside we've got a little jumper so let's see if I can get this in without it being too awkward. This is why I asked them to dress it. <laughs> Got the label stuck. We'll get the label through and then we'll be good. Right, there we go. Because also, I didn't know if you'd, you guys would want to watch me dressing a bear really really awkwardly okay head is in one arm 
two arms. Okay. Right, so we've got the first thing on. So we've got her little robes on there. Okay, then the next thing I got was we can't have her having no bottoms on. So I got a little skirt. So it's a little black pleated skirt with a Hogwarts crest on. So let's now do that. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't dress it. There is a tick box that says dress or undress and then you go down and you tick each of the bits. How's it got a tail hole? Usually they have a tail hole on the outfits, but I don't think this one does. Okay, sorry, just showing off her bottom for you. I don't know how high to pull up the skirt. There we go. So now we have her in her nice robes and skirt. So I'm gonna now do the robes up. So we get the full robe effect. There we go. She's so cute. And you can put the hood up and the hood has little ear holes. <laughs> One ear hole. There we go. So you can have it hooded like that. And then the next bit of her outfit I got was I got the little, some little shoes as well. So she can wear those. I'll put them on on her later on and then no bear would be complete without their little house scarf so got the little Ravenclaw crest on there um obviously yeah only downside to this is it is blue and gray because obviously that's the the route that the films took Trying to awkwardly. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. I need to tie it like a tie. Boop, boop, boop. We'll get there. I can't. That's the worst attempt at tying a scarf because it's just unraveled. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that that's her and her little scarf. And then the last bit of kind of that bit, I got a wand. It's a bit bent. So then you can put that on their hand like that. So we have a complete bear plus extra tag. So then they released a Quidditch outfit. Again, all in the house colours. So we've got a little Ravenclaw Quidditch outfit there with a hood. Again, it's got ear holes in it. Um, and it comes with a pair of goggles, so it's it's clearly meant to be like a Seeker's outfit, maybe, um, for that one. So I got that because I thought that was really cute. And no Seeker's Quidditch outfit would be complete without a little golden snitch. So I got the full outfit there um, for her. And then I got the birth certificate, which um, I've called her Rowena Helena Ravenclaw. Um, because I'm really imaginative and uh, yeah she has a she's got my birthday so she shares my birthday um, and yeah so I got that so I got the certificate I've got the invoice here let's have a look at what it says see the thing is I suppose on the invoice it doesn't say anything on here about being dressed or undressed so Anywho, that's fine. I also did, they do an online exclusive, which is to have a Harry Potter box, um, but they had sold out. So if you're thinking of buying these, um, just a little tip that I had to phone up customer services to find this out um, because the system didn't tell me, is that you have basically three box options for these being delivered. You can get a special Harry Potter online exclusive box. You can get the normal like, Cub carry or something, whatever the normal builder bear box is, or you can just get it in a cardboard box, which is what I went for. Um, I selected the Harry Potter box because I thought, well, let's get everything. Um, and so I ticked that, but for some reason it wouldn't let me go to checkout. 
the reason why it wouldn't let me go to checkout was it was saying that there wasn't enough quantity of whatever you'd all you'd put in your basket so I was going back and I was going well everything says it's in stock nothing that I've selected says it's out of stock it was literally all down to that Harry Potter box and because it didn't tell you it was or wasn't out of stock um, it was stopping the whole thing going through so just for your awareness if you're planning on ordering anything that's what you need to do is if it's saying you can't check out untick the Harry Potter box um the lady I spoke to said that they've not had them in for ages like since right at the beginning they've not had them in so anyway um that's just my tip um so yes so I hope you liked this I I like my little try and tuck the label in can I tuck the label in her hood there we go we'll hide that away a little bit there but yeah so um, she's got her eyes are kind of covered there we go maybe a bit better but yeah so that is the Ravenclaw bear of the new release from Builder Bear um so go check it out if you're interested I think they will be in store as well um obviously at the moment in um England we're in a bit of a lockdown but it lifts next week um so yeah I expect that they will be in store again when they reopen um so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and my little Ravenclaw bear um unboxing and uh yeah thanks as always for watching and i will see you in my next video bye